Welcome. Today, we will be going through question three from the Indian Maths Olympiad 2002. Let x and y be positive reals such that x plus y is two. Prove that x cubed multiplied by y cubed multiplied by x cubed plus y cubed is less than or equal to two. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. By AMGM inequality, x plus y divided by two squared is greater or equal to x multiplied by y. Try using this to find an upper bound and lower bound for x multiplied by y. Hint number two. Let A be xy. Rewrite the inequality in some way to be only in terms of A, so to get rid of x's and y's. Hint number three. Factorise the polynomial that you will get and see what you can do from there. Solution. So by AMGM inequality, x plus y divided by 2 squared is greater or equal to xy. Now, since x plus y is 2, the left hand side of the AMGM will be 1. And because x and y are positive reals, we get 0 is less than xy, which is less than or equal to x plus y divided by 2 squared, which is 1. Now we can rewrite the left hand side of the inequality given x cubed y cubed multiplied by x cubed plus y cubed as xy cubed multiplied by x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared. This can be rewritten as 2 multiplied by xy cubed multiplied by x plus y squared minus 3xy, which in turn is 2 multiply by xy cubed, multiply by 4 minus 3xy. Now let a be xy. Then 0 is less than a, which is less than or equal to 1. And we need to prove that 2a cubed multiplied by 4 minus 3a is less than or equal to 2. We just rewrote the left hand side of the initial inequality. Now this is the same as a cubed multiplied by 4 minus 3a less than or equal to 1, which expanding and rewriting gives us 3a to the power of 4 minus 4a cubed plus 1 greater or equal to 0. Now if we plug in the value a equals 1 to the left hand side, we get 3 minus 4 plus 1, which is 0. So we can factorise the left hand side to get a minus 1 multiply by something, and that something is 3a cubed minus a squared minus a minus 1. Now, if we look at the second bracket and plug in the value a equals 1 once more, we get 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1, which is 0. So the second bracket is also a factor of a minus 1. And so we can rewrite the left hand side as a minus 1 squared multiply by 3a squared plus 2a plus 1 greater or equal to 0. a minus 1 squared is at least 0 because it's a square and 3a squared is at least 0. 2a is at least 0 because a is greater than 0 and 1 is also greater than 0. So what we get is a minus 1 squared greater than 0 and 3a squared plus 2a plus 1 also greater than 0. So the whole of the left hand side is greater or equal to 0 equality when a is equal to 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.